They, will, they can sleep in places like that. Sometimes they can get up underneath really soft um, forest floors, like forest, like, like mounds and mounds of leaves. I've actually seen a video of, from a friend that was, he was a Boy Scout, and he was standing on one and it started to move. So I guess apparently he was waking up this big old black bear. So the females will go into the den and she will generally stay in that, her, that hibernation um, state with um, like her cubs if she has them. And if she has been impregnated in the summer, meaning that she doesn't have, give birth until she goes into hibernation. And that's probably a really significant part about our black bear history. They have to have that hibernation time in order to give birth. So the friends are gonna look at those. They have very, very sensitive paws and they use their claws for climbing. When um, the female gives birth to her young, um, the young will immediately start nursing while she's sleeping and then they both will come out together. Sometimes she could have up to two cubs. So if there's potential danger nearby and they're out foraging or just kind of frolicking, she can pick up the baby, put them on a tree. By the way, black bears can be on their two feet compared to four feet. And then they learn to crawl up and down the tree so they can be more um, prolific with that. Um, there's a couple of pictures in here if you pay attention. Somebody sent this to me from, um, gosh, off of Blue Ridge Drive at, at Wintergreen near Shemokin Falls. And she was outside on her porch in the fall. It was a great year for acorns. And there were like four cubs hanging in these trees, swinging in the <laughs> across the bear that you just become aggressive and, you know, yell, hey, 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 stand up larger than him. If they see you, know you're there, and then they would generally run away. And I've done that before. I'm, I'm apparently the person to go to when a black bear is around. And I tried to do that with a female, and she looked at me like, eh. And then we thought she left. And this was at Strando Park, you know, Strando, it was the Strando Lake, we were in the park. And then she came back and we realized that she had two cubs that were, um, were retreat and she didn't want to leave the cubs. Anybody want to share a story? You know what guys, whenever I'm in class, you, get, you want to share a story all the time. What's their range? Like, do they have like a certain range, they have, like an area they control? So their range, my understanding is up to 25 miles. Okay. And they are pretty territorial. Um, DWR, which is Virginia, well, used to be, you know, DGIF, um, had put a collar on a on a sow, and this was um, in my old neighborhood in Bedford, which is where their office is. And we saw that thing go into a neighborhood, a pretty, you know, populated neighborhood. Never seen one before. And it had a collar. On it. And so uh, it was the person for Nelson County. And she said that they actually um, had wanted to see how far they would go. She was caught up in, um, actually in Nelson County. And they brought her down to Bedford. And by golly, she did what she could to get back home. That's crazy. I mean, I have no idea. She looked like she was going towards um, the parkway, really. Oh. I, I mean, they follow their nose. Yeah. How fast can they go? How fast can they go? That's a good question. Um, black bears, um, my understanding is that they can be pretty fast, but like not more than like 20, maybe 20 miles an hour. Um, if they're in, you know, in a, in a state of where they're chasing after things, but they're really very lazy. Um, and they'd rather not to go very far, chase after food. Um, so they don't run for long. 